Okay, it's in a shop, finally. Hello and welcome to my channel. So this is another video of a DIY project with the help of Canva. And this time, I'll show you how I created my first personal planner. So yeah, let's start. Alright, so before we go to our planner contents, share ko muna yung layout template. Kasi bala ko siyang iprint sa A4 size paper. So here's how it would look. Now, to achieve this size of design na lalapat natin sa print layout, let's create a custom size design. Make sure it will be in pixels. And the size would be 1100 by 1690. Now, you can click on create design but for me as usual i already have something prepared here okay so ito na siya and again uh, for beginners uh, like me since it's first time that uh, magkakaroon ako ng planner uh, i came up with this contents so based observation ko sa planner ng iba uh, i think these are the pages or the contents of the planner that will make sense or magiging useful para sa akin. So, it's up to you if you want to uh, copy this, change something, add more pages. Bahala kayo. Just a quick overview um, of my own planner contents. I have this single pages. Um, consists of the cover, personal information, and important contact person as well as one year calendar and the year at a glance page and the page for the goals. Now for the repetitive pages, so ito yung mga page na ipiprint natin more than once. So we have monthly calendar, of course, because we have 12 months. And then we have a monthly budget tracker, 12 copies as well. And the weekly activity tracker, so we have 52 weeks in a year. For the rest, we have optional fillers like an inspirational quote or graphic or your photos. It's up to you. As well as blank pages. For me, I think I'll add like three blank pages per month dito sa aking planner. And then there's more like pocket or envelope, um, ziplock pouch. I've also seen some has a ruler on their planners. So... Depending na yan sa inyo. But for me, this is just a, like a guide on my first planner. Okay, without further ado, let's start designing. So, um, unahin natin yung cover. Now, we can start searching from Canva's design tab. Let's try to use planner. Okay, so we are seeing few options here. Let's try planner cover. All right, a lot more options. So it's up to you if you want to come up with your own design for the cover. So I came up with this cover of mine. I'm really like minimalist. I'm an astrophile, so like stars or celestial bodies. Alright, so next will be our personal information and a contact person on Canva Design. Let's try personal info. Alright, uh, you can try to use this. Not for a pet though, so medyo i-modify mo na konti. Or maybe this one, medyo kitty lang yung dating niya. But again, I have my own here. So I have here section for my personal information, um, emergency contact person below. Also put in some my hobbies section and a part where I will put my photo. Now let's go to the next, which is the one year calendar. 
And let's search on Canva again for that. So here, just showing you some samples. Again, you already know you can change the color, the font style, the size. It's up to you. And uh, here is mine for the one-year calendar. Now moving forward, let's go with the year at a glance. Searching it on Canva again. So here's one. Now kayo na bahala mag customize. But for me, is my year at a glance page. So just showing you that Canva offers a template with the idea you just have to use the right search word or the keyword and canva will help you with a design or to give you an idea for the template okay next page will be our goals so we have this or this but mine is this so here i really try to make it more personalized so i wanted my goals to be focused on four aspects we have i have financial personal career and personal goals i have some notes here for some other goals i would like to add all right so we're done with the single pages we can now work on the repetitive pages and let's start off with the monthly calendar So search ulit tayo, and this time, I'm sure Canva can offer some templates na from January to December na. And you can use that, customize it your way. So like this, a bit colorful. If you're into colors, you might like this one. So January to December. And we have this minimalist one too. Now my monthly calendar is this not with the boxes though so i can put in some notes for each day but it's up to you now if you want to use the same kind of template for your monthly calendar maybe baguhin nyo lang yung font or yung color i have this from january to december with the hidden link here and the little star then you will see a link here you can click on this button and it will lead you to a page where you can have the monthly calendar all right so now let's work on our monthly budget tracker so let's try to search canva again so here this one looks like a good sample for a monthly budget tracker So this is the one I've customized for my monthly budget tracker. I have the sections for income, expenses, savings. So we have several lines here. Kumaraming source of income, that would be helpful. And then here, savings, if you, wanna, if you are saving for, let's say, an upgrade, an appliances, house renovation, really up to you. And for expenses, syempre hindi naman natin iisa-isahin yung expenses natin every day for a month. So just a summary, like how much it was uh, for the groceries for this month, total bills, loans, etc. Alright, uh, too much talking. Let's move on to our weekly activity tracker. Searching, searching again. Okay, this is one sample, so you can also call it habit tracker. And this one is interesting. But this is what I have for my weekly activity tracker. So, sample lang to mga nakasulat na activities dito, but more likely yan din yung isusulat ko. But since it's not a fixed weekly activity, uh, I'll have it removed before I print this layout later. So, each activity you can assign what day you'd like to accomplish that and by the end of the week you can 
try to look back to see kung na-accomplish mo ba, yes or no. Uh, if not, you can assign it for next week. So, it really depends. Again, it's all up to you. Okay, so we're done with that. Now for our fillers or additional pages. Uh, for my sample content, we have inspirational quotes or graphic or photos. You can try to search Canva again. Let's say inspirational. So yeah, here are some options for that. Now for me, it's yung bet ko. Of course, starry starry, medyo dark shade, and minimal lang yung coat. So I created some more, it's like 5 pages, na randomly ko isisingit sa planner ko. Okay, so next will be the blank pages. Your blank page could be this, plain white, or with a color, or with some patterns. Let's try to search. Let's try lines. Okay, here. This is a good sample too. Just checking, showing you some more options. But mine, this is what I have for my blank page. So dot 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 slang sha. Okay, so I think that is it for my planner contents. If you want to add more, again, all up to you. Let me just show you the grid view here for all of those pages that I created. And now we can uh, export or download this as PNG files. And then, ilalapat na natin dun sa print layout template na pinakita ko bago tayo mag-design. Now, let's share, download, PNG file. Let me just exclude the planner contents page. Okay, download. Alright, we can now jump back to that print layout I was talking about. So before anything else, pa subscribe naman sa channel ko and hit that notification bell to receive updates on my latest videos. Now, i upload natin yung PNG files para sa pages. Now, for this planner, you'll notice I have it as 1, 2, 3, 4 in this pattern. And then 5, 6, 7, 8. And to make it easier, I na rin ako ng page numbers para alam ko kung ano yung page na ilalagay ko dun sa side ng layout. So, I created some more of this, but I might need to add more kasi mukhang nasa 120 plus pages yung aking planner so let's start to lay out the designs and the cover could go on a separate page I might want to print it on a thicker paper but I'll decide on that later so hiwalay ko muna siya okay Now, by the way, this space in the middle or in the center is para sa uh, pagpa-punch, pagbubutasan mamaya. And the, those spaces on the sides is, again, hindi borderless yung printer ko. So, I don't want any of my designs being cut off. Kaya may allowance ako nilagay dyan. Okay, so let's start the way out. After the cover, next will be the personal information page. And then page 2 will be the one-year calendar. Page 3 is the year at a glance. And then page 4 is my goals. There you go. Now let's start on the repetitive pages, which is a little tricky. Just make sure to follow the order of the pages, which depends on you. But for me, it will be the monthly calendar, monthly budget tracker, weekly activity tracker, an inspirational quote, and then black pages. Okay, so let me start working on that. So January for the monthly calendar, monthly budget tracker, weekly activity tracker. Now keep in mind that there are several weeks in a month, so 
Let's take a look at our one year calendar just to check on that. So for January, there are five weeks. So I'm going to add five copies or pages for the weekly activity tracker. So one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so I'm just following the path. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Parang sumasayo lang. Sorry. Anyways, so let me add my inspirational quote here. And the blank pages. Like I said, I want to add three. So, one, two, three. And then, I can move on the next month, which is February. Okay, so, monthly calendar. Followed by the monthly budget tracker. Now, for the weekly activity, you can check a separate calendar, maybe on your phone, to check how many weeks there are on a month. So, for February, I'll be adding four. And then, inspirational quote here. Plus, three blank pages. Alright, and then we can work on the next month. And tuloy tuloy lang. Just kung haba na ito, fast forward na natin. Okay, so ito na nga yung part na nag-add ako ng additional pages. Okay, so finally, ito na siya. Umabot ako ng 120 pages. So, 60 sheets to pero since back to back yung printing technically 30 bond papers yung aking makoconsume pero pag hinati siya syempre 60 pa din yun okay so let's have it ready for printing um, delete ko muna yung cover and then what I'll ask you to do is to create a copy And then, pangalan na natin yung both files. One front and yung isa back. Okay, now let's go on the grid view. Now let's start doing the front planner. Now here, we're gonna keep the odd pages. So, odd numbers, alam nyo naman, 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on. And, isi-select natin yung even pages. And then, we're gonna delete it. So, let's start with this one. So, let's start selecting the even pages. As you can see, may pattern siya. So, medyo madali lang. Okay. Now, just making sure I selected the right pages. And we can now delete. Alright, there you go. So, technically, uh, twice tayo mag print And this is the first set, yung front. And then, isasalang natin yung same papers para naman sa back. Now, let's work on the other file for the back pages. Siyempre, alam nyo na, doon sa back, odd pages naman yung i-delete natin. So, again, select lang natin dito yung odd pages. Okay, after selecting all odd pages, just making sure, and yeah, let's delete. Alright, and there it is. We have our front and back. 
files. Now we can now share and download this file as a PDF. Now for me, I'll just do the standard and uh, I will flatten the design. Um, this appears to have the best results of printer ko, but depends sa inyo, siyempre. And uh, let's download the other file for the back pages. Okay, so we're now done with the files. I'll now show you kung paano ko siya ipiprint. Okay, so here, una kong sinalang yung front print layouts. Uh, you'll see yung unang page yung lumabas is yung my personal information. And then, sunod-sunod na yan. Okay, so finally, the front print layout is all done. Again, this is 30 sheets here. So, I just printed it on a 70 GSM one paper. Hindi naman yan ang tumatagos yung design niya. So, okay pa din. By the way, I'm using Epson L565 dito. Okay, now, since pag ganun siya lumabas sa printer ko, ibabalik dead ko lang siya for the back printing. Okay, so this is the first output. Siyempre, tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung printing niyan. Titignan na lang natin itong page na to. And let's see. So, let's say, gugupitin ko siya dito. Now, this is page 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. Now, mukha okay naman yung print niya. While waiting, let me show you kung ano ginawa ko sa cover. Alright, now let's go back to this planner design page. So, ito yung cover ko, remember? Now, what I did is I created a separate A4 file, a portrait. And then, inilagay ko siya doon. So, dinownload ko muna siya as PNG and then in-upload ko dito. And now, ginamit ko yung same picture niya sa background just to extend the design on the sides. So, you'll see this is my actual design. And then, nilagyan ko siya ng space the sides using the same photo as the background. Now, this will be my cover at the front. And then, gumawa na lang din ako ng para sa back, sa likod. So, for that, it's gonna be just the background design. And then here on the print layout, magpiprint ako ng dalawang, uh, yung plain lang na background niya. Papakita ko mamaya kung anong purpose niya. But yeah, I'll download it as a PDF for now. Pati ito. And then, ipiprint ko sila both on uh, sticker paper. I'll be using 135 GSM glossy sticker paper for both files. Now, balik na tayo sa na-print kong planner pages. So, ito na siya. 30 sheets uh, back to back and then and then ikakat ka na siya sa gitna so ito na siya nung nakat and ibabaligtad ko lang siya doon ako mag-uumpisa sa likod so ganito ko pagsasama-samahin yung mga pages Okay, so ito na siya. Next thing would be punching. So, pupotasan na natin siya. This is the KW306 hole puncher. Ilalagay ko rin lahat ng links ng materials na ginamit ko sa description. Five sheets lang yung kaya niyang i-punch at the same time. This is for a 70 GSM punching. So, using the puncher's guide, isasakto ko yung edge ng paper sa B5 marking. O 
Okay, now this time, yung guide natin is yung bilog na nandito. So, is papasok natin yung second to the last hole sa kanya para pantay yung spacing. Uh, for the last part, I'll count 5 to the last hole. Just dun ka naman siya ipapasok. And, ito na. Okay, now let me just finish all the pages. Okay, so we're now good with the pages. Let's now work on the cover. Okay, so for the cover, I'll be using this 200 GSM white cardstock or specialty paper. And isusukat ko lang siya dun sa pages natin. Okay, so I have two, one for the front, one for the back. Now, it's up to you if you want to use a thicker paper or like a chipboard. But this is what I have right now. Now, ito na yung printed ko sa sticker paper para sa cover. And ibabalot ko ito dun sa cardstock. So, tanggalin ko lang yung extra edges. Okay, now ibalot na natin yung sticker paper sa cardstock. Okay, so dapat ganito siya. At ayan, naidikitan natin yung front cover na sticker paper dun sa ating 200 GSM cardstock. Now, yung isa naman para sa likod. Ayan. Okay, testing, testing. Oh, bongga. Okay, now ito yung purpose nung galing sa print layout na template. Para siya pang takip dun sa uh, white space. Sa likod ng cover. Ayan, okay na siya. Now, this one is optional. This is a glossy photo top para gawing waterproof yung cover nyo. And bubutasin ko na tong cover para mabind na natin yung planner. Alright, now I'm using this um, 30 old plastic binder and sukatin lang natin siya. Putulin natin yung sobra gamit yung gulitin. Okay, now shoot na natin siya sa butas and and i-clip na natin. See? Very easy. Okay. 
Okay, it's an Asha, finally. So, payagan nyo na ako mag-emote dito sa dulo para din naman sayang yung effort ko sa haba ng video. Thank you for watching.